Hello, dragons. My name is Gina, and I'm the founder of Clays. I'm here today to ask for 100,000 pounds in return for a 4% stake in my business. Glaze is on a mission to disrupt the nail care industry by giving consumers more sustainable salon quality manicures at a fraction of the cost and time of existing solutions. Our hero product is our made to measure stick on gels. Customers choose their favorite color or design and submit a few pictures of their hands. Using our patent pending technology, we are able to create a fully custom sized manicure that is delivered directly to our customer's letterbox. All you need to do is stick them on and you're good to go. To remove them, you simply peel them off. Since soft launching just six months ago, we've generated over 40,000 pounds in sales with minimal marketing. And we're now ready to take place to the next level. And I hope you join us on our journey. Thank you. What about these? What's happened here, Sarah? Do you want, do you want me to finish them off? Or? Don't you, don't no, let me you them. touch them. Gina, hi. Hi. This is ultimately just to replace the part that where you paint your nails. Correct, for now, yes. We wanted to create a product that actually looked like a gel, as opposed to a sticker that mimics a gel. Can I just ask a question? to the ladies, from your perspective, putting that on your nail, would you prefer to put something sticky on your nail like that or do you prefer to paint your nails? I think it's a terrible business, Pedro, and I think you're probably best off just declaring that you're out. Ooh, okay, so you quite like likes it. it. Gina. Yes. Hi, I'm Hi. Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Um, this was not at all what I was expecting. I've never heard of anything like this. I mean, it's... If it is as good as what you said it is, oh my word, are you going to disrupt this industry? And then some. Is anyone else doing stick on nails made to measure like this? So there is a company called Manny Me in the US that has a similar kind of product where you actually have to take pictures of their hands. In terms of the sizing, they are doing something very similar. Okay, so is their product patented? Yes. Okay, and what is it that you have the patent application for? That, so what we're claiming for is how we convert the 2D mask that we extract from, um, from the images you submit into the final made-to-measure template. We've basically, we have different approaches to get to a similar product. I think both patents should be valid, but I'm not a patent expert. That's why we have the lawyers. I, I just want to, I really want to get my mind wrapped around the comparisons between what currently happens and the sustainability piece. And what are, you know, why would I feel better about them buying this product than, the, the, you know, getting their nail polish and doing it themselves? Yeah. So I'm not going to greenwash. Um, That's a really good start. Yeah. <laughs> At the moment, uh, we've done what we can in terms of the bio-based content. We haven't yet done the end-of-life tests to truly understand how this compares to a gel product. However, because we have a great formulation chemist, we're going to try and get to a place where the product is a lot more sustainable than anything else that's, that's out there. Okay, well, that's, that's a good answer. Nobody's perfect. Everybody has an impact. Yeah. Are you on the journey? Or do you really intend to get better, to make this better than we currently are? Yeah. So, you've come in here with a valuation of, what, two and a half million, right? Turned over 40,000. So, your gross profit is how much? 34,000. 34,000. So, how much have you invested totally? So we've invested around 800,000. How much? 800,000 pounds in the business. 800,000 pounds? Yeah. We've raised money from uh, institutional investors and business angels. Wow. Wow. What the business will need overall is 500,000. With 40K in sales to have a 2.5 million valuation. I, I agree that if you look at the valuation, just with the sales we've got, it is ridiculous. I totally agree. What? Yes. Yeah. But <laughs> but what you're investing in is not the sales because we've had to scale up cautiously to make sure that we're not losing control of of the quality. Okay. I'm going to tell you where I am. Um, 
You know, Sarah, Sarah's reaction was really, did influence me a lot. But I don't think that's enough for me, unfortunately, in this case. I don't think that's enough for me to part with my money. So for that reason, I'm going to say that I'm out. But I wish you the very best. Thank you so much. I think it's a great product. I think once the market understands what this is, this is going to be truly disruptive. And if you hit TV shopping with this, which could happen imminently, you don't need to do that extra half a million of fundraise. You could fund generating that extra half a million in the next couple of months. So on that basis, because that is something that I can facilitate overnight, I would propose offering you half of the money, so £50,000, for 4% of the business. Thank you, Sarah. This is interesting for me because um, I'm making you an offer on the pure basis of FOMO. <laughs> <laughs> Only on the basis of the fact that Sarah is so <laughs> in it and really loved it so much. And I trust her instincts. Um, so I'm going to make you the, exactly the same offer that Sarah did, which is £50,000 for 4%. Thank you. Gina. So there's lots of positive points. The question mark is control and spend. Yeah. Because if that gets out of, out of hand, you'll make no money. Definitely in retail. And I think that's where I can help. So I'm going to make you an offer. So I'm going to offer you half the money at the same 4%. Give you a food for thought. Thank you so much. I feel like, first of all, you're really good. Um, all you've got, to, I know this will sound ridiculous, all you've got to do is get the messaging right. Yeah. Just people need to know about it, that is it, yeah. because everything else is right. So, um, yeah, I'm going to make you an offer. Uh, and I, too, am going to offer you £50,000 for 4% of the business. Thank you. Sarah and Deborah. Would you be willing to share? Absolutely. Absolutely. I think you need a guy on this journey. You need somebody that doesn't know about this business that will give you the proper constructive criticism. Well, I mean, that's Deborah a would very really interesting. The that can next we can confirm? So, Deborah and I would be willing to share on the basis that we offered at 8% between us or 4% each. Have we got a deal? Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Thank you. Excellent. Thank you so much. What a product. Thank you so much. Well done. So much. Thank you. I'll give you a manicure tonight. Yeah, thank you, everyone. <laughs> we nailed that, Deborah. Oh, wow. Boo boo. <laughs>